Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for cancer. I feel like somebody's trying to figure out how you knew something here. They don't understand how you figured something out here. How you manifested something, how you, you knew something. Hmm. Clean up. Bye, Felicia. So somebody is salty because you walked away from them. You are, you dis, you're, you're dismissing them. You're over them. You're not really putting too much emphasis on them. Um, you're acting like you don't care. So somebody is mad about this. Somebody's bitter over this. Talk about sipping tea. We have Insta Famous here. So somebody could be finding out that you're getting some attention here, or that you've achieved some, you've you've reached some type of achievement or fame or recognition here. Um, hmm. Up, bougie throw shade somebody's mad because of the life that you're living somebody's mad because somebody is salty because how do i say this you could have left them or whatever they decided to walk away from you and then you leveled up you're living a good life somebody's mad about this or somebody doesn't like you because of how you live your life Ooh. Talk about spiritualist. Mm. Digital detox. Clamp your balance your check in real life. Disconnect. What is can't even? I'm telling you. You guys were able to know that somebody was trying to get over on you. They were trying to play you. They were trying to get something out of you. Um, you guys were able to know this because you guys are intuitive or you, you watched a reading, you got a reading done. Um, you're spiritual and you, you drew some cards. I don't know. Somehow you knew something and somebody doesn't understand how you could know what, what you knew. And what you knew was that somebody was trying to play you. Somebody was trying to be slick. Some of you guys know that somebody's not to be trying to come back towards you. So you guys block this person or you like how you you guys probably yeah you blocked them because you knew that they were going to you they were doing something to try to get over on you or they were about to oh what does this digital detox mean for my collective spiritualist digital detox can't even finesse blessed yeah something good has happened expressing gratitude for blessings feeling lucky somebody's just seeing you do you left them because you knew that they were being conniving or they were trying to get over on you in some way some of you guys own businesses or something like that see somebody's maybe trying to come back and leech off of you here like they you've had some type of come up here blessings or be careful of this you guys may already feel this person just know this person's gonna try to come back once they see you doing well what is throw shade here? See, uh, missing someone emotional, lonely, depressed, sad. Put on blast. Somebody's mad because <laughs> of something you said to them. Personal business exposed, exposing. See, you called them out on something. Viral. Yeah, message getting around quickly, becoming instantly famous. What is that about? What is this recognition? Shook. Somebody is shook that what? You had some type of proof about something. Something got out here. Somebody. Okay. So pretty much. Ooh. You know what this is? Somebody was putting was wearing a mask or something here. They were trying to portray themselves in a way that wasn't true. Like they were doing well, they were doing better. They, you know, they had leveled up in some type of way. They had had a glow up or this is what they're going to do. But you guys know better because of your intuition or readings or whatever it is. It's like somebody can't finesse you. Like, you know the truth about something here. They may try to come in and act like they've been living this good life and things are going well for them and things are getting better and everything. It's just, but it's not true. What is sipping tea and Insta Famous? Extra. Okay, so this is the card that I saw when I was shuffling. Somebody's kind of like gassed. What is this? I have to do with my collective. 
No chill. What is this? Somebody's supposed to be coming in here acting crazy. Too being too much. Hmm. Why? Why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? Glow up. Yeah. Hmm. What about sipping tea? Oh, somebody wants to come towards you being more authentic now. Whenever this person comes back towards you, they're going to be giving you a lot of attention. Kind of a little bit smothering here. But why are they doing this? This is... They want to be back in your circle. Yeah, they want to be back in your circle. Yeah, they want to be back together with you. Yeah. The way that they were living their life and the way that they were thinking, they were realizing that wasn't getting them anywhere. All right. Oops. Or they're realizing that the more they resisted change, the more things got difficult for them. Like they have to take charge of it. Yeah, they have to grow up. What is benching? They were too focused on getting attention from other people or something like that. Or... Or maybe you're going to see, yeah, trying to make yourself look better. This person, yeah, like they fake flex or they like to get like attention from other people by like um, embezzling. Is that the right word? Not Is that the right word? Or what is the word I'm trying to say? It's, it's not embezzling, is it? What is it? Um, Oh, I can't think of what it is. You know, like uh, making themselves look better. I can't think of what the word is right now, but <sighs> they're trying to make themselves look better than they actually are. That's what they usually do to people, but they know that you see right through them. So now what? <laughs> what about digital? What is digital detox on fleet? If you guys like block this person or you're going to spend any more, less time on social media or you disconnected from somebody on social media because you felt like that was what you were guided to do. Spirit says you did the right thing. What about receipts here? You're going to make this person really prove themselves to you because you don't believe anything that they say. Yeah, something juicy hit. You think they're hiding things here. You don't trust this person. Yeah, what about squad or the people that they have around them? Yes, they are very influenced by some people around them. They're too busy. Yeah, they have people around them that they listen to that per are very persuading or that they care about how these people view them. They want to kind of like mature or grow up, do the right thing and like kind of really put in the work. But what is shaking my head? Maybe they feel like they listen to the wrong people. Yeah, they took the wrong advice. They feel like it was a stupid move to hide something from you or to not put enough. Somebody was maybe telling them. What is sipping tea? What was somebody telling them? Yeah, to ghost you or kind of leave you confused and wondering or disappear on you. Why? <laughs> Be Yeah, ratchet because these people are ratchet. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, well, what's shook here, though? What is caught off guard by what? What are they shook by? That that didn't really have that much of an influence on it, or... This person literally made you feel like you were invisible. Yeah, it was super frustrating, but they were doing this because somebody was telling them to do this. To, to not really give you too much energy, effort, whatever. It's almost like this person... How do I say this the right way? 
somebody is there's jealous energy here it's like somebody was like uh don't don't boost that person's ego too much or don't give them too much of your time and attention uh you know you gotta like kind of dim them down a little bit because they already they get too much attention already or something like that yeah what about woke guys i cannot make this up goals wanting what someone else has what you're trying to attain subtly expressing jealousy somebody was trying to tell them to do little things like oh you should ghost that person every now and then you shouldn't answer them back right away you shouldn't give them too much of your attention blah 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 blah, blah. like why because yeah it's almost like this person they were trying to make it seem like you were being like flaunting what you had in their face or something like that but they're starting to look at something differently now that somebody was that what somebody was telling them wasn't true about you or that they had to that somebody was telling them that they had to kind of be fake flex or be arrogant or self-absorbed or something like that but that's not who they are they want to show you their true self now so they're going to reach out to you. They're going to get communication from this person. But see, we have bread coming here. Turnt. What? I told you. What's turnt? They may come reach out to you. Sus. It's like somebody was trying to tell them not to trust you. Why, though? Because they were jealous. It's almost like somebody was jealous of the life you lived and what you had achieved and how this person felt about you. And what is this? Mm. before i move okay let's just get into the tarot what um spirit tell me more about what's going on here we have the world here so libra energy what about the world what's coming to an end here what cycle's closing a period of someone being in anxiety or depression or losing, losing sleep, overthinking things, being paranoid, being in a negative mindset, in some type of despair or in some type of like isolation. Yeah. Oh, somebody's putting an end to some type of family situation or something that was causing them a lot of anxiety and stress. They're starting to realize that the people that they had around them did not have their best interests at heart. Whoever they had around them were, were jealous of what they were about to have with you because... Your person could have told, what do we have that sipping tea? Your person talks to you, to the, whoever this is or these people. And instead of the, the people that they were talking to being happy for them, they got jealous. They wish that they had the same life as you. They wish that they had achieved what you had achieved. They wish they could be able to live the life that you, or you could, they, it's like, they knew what, if your person got to, if you're, if that person got together with you, what the two of you guys would have together or how their life would change, or maybe how their dynamic with this person would change. So they were like, maybe not flat out telling your person, like you need to never, you don't need to be with that person and you need to leave them alone. But they were trying to like plant seeds of doubt and giving them bad advice, like tell, telling them to mishandle this situation. Yeah, for lots of disharmony and instability in whatever this family situation is, living situation, there's a, yeah, there's a lack of support. Like, they have people around them that do not have their best interest at heart, okay? Oof, yeah, a conflict with these people, a lack of stability, a lack of support. Mm-mm, tell, tell me more. The Queen of Wands Reavers. So, they're closing out a cycle, possibly, or maybe someone's finally... Stepping into their power here. We have Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Tell me about the Queen of Wands reverse. There's a jealous person. They're either ending something with a jealous person. Doesn't have to be romantic. See, yeah. Six of Swords reverse. So are they, what are they doing when it comes to that situation? Five of Cups reverse. Yeah, they're finally moving on from a situation that it was very difficult for them to move away from. But them moving away from this situation, this could even be you. This could even be you moving away from a family or a group of people or a person that was literally jealous and trying to hold you back from some type of blessing or some type of positive influence or positive situation that they didn't they wanted that they were mad that that couldn't have been that they it wasn't them 
So someone's finally letting this go. Yeah, but why is the moon here? Yeah, it's like some type of illusion. What is the illusion? What's the, the moon, Pisces energy? Yeah, that it was one-sided or... Hmm. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. There's some type of illusion around money, material things here. It's almost like they already thought something wasn't going to work out before they even tried to do it because somebody was planting this illusion or these seeds in them that it could just never work out. It was never going to be that. They had missed their opportunity or... It just was never going to move forward. They weren't ready. I don't know. But somebody was literally trying to keep them from getting some type of blessing. Or this is what somebody has been trying to do to you. Take it out. Resonates. Strength and reverse. Yeah, somebody was feeling that they weren't good enough for you. Can you imagine that? Having a family member or a friend or somebody around you who's supposed to love you and be supportive and want the best for you. Trying to make you in some type of subtle, uh, underhanded way make you feel like you're not good enough. Like, for example... Some of you guys are in the public eye. You have successful businesses. You have a lot going for yourself. Somebody around them, if this isn't you, somebody around them was trying to make them feel like they weren't worthy of that, that that, that was never going to work out and that's too good to be true. And no, but it was out of jealousy. Somebody tried to make the, like them lacking confidence when it came to a situation, make them feel like they weren't good enough for it. So that they could end up missing this opportunity or so they couldn't see how good of an opportunity this was that was in front of them. Somebody's returning, but they are afraid that or they're starting to realize that by listening to whoever this was, that they may have. For some of you, they were just trying to prevent some type of conflict. They were trying to keep the peace because as we can see, there's rarely ever any peace in this situation. Um, interesting. This is an interesting reading. Let's get a few more cards. Mm, let's do this. We have healing here. They're at the, the end of a big healing cycle, coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance and the connection. Guys, I can't make it up. It's literally somebody's freaking family. It's almost like you were outside of a norm or something like that. So somebody was trying to like, <sighs> yeah, there's cultural differences, different values, beliefs, or traditions that pose a challenge to this connection. Family was a big issue. We have dreams here. They've been dreaming so much about you and want to manifest their dreams into reality. So this is somebody that's coming in to fight for you because they're realizing that whoever they were listening to or whoever they had around them didn't want to have their best interest at heart. That they should have never listened to these people. Their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love. Yeah, and the divine is guiding them to do this. And it could be because some of you guys have deleted this person or blocked them. Maybe you felt like that's what you needed to do. Um, maybe you guys have been kind of like pushing this person away because you don't trust their intentions. You feel like you're the readings or your intuition is telling you you can't quite trust this person. It's getting harder and harder for them to stay away from you. They are trying to get on your level um, and wishing that, you know, hoping that they'll be able to have a future with you. But look, what did I say? Their toxic friendships, family, whoever it is, looks like family, are creating distance between you two and preventing them from seeing the purity of your soul. Confirmation. Mm-hmm. Yep, they were trying to say that person's too good to be true. That person isn't who they say they are. There's no way that they live that good of a life or they don't make that much money. They're gonna, they're just trying to trick you. This is a trick. Like they literally had somebody planting these types of seeds in their mind, but they're starting to realize this. As they start to heal, they're starting to see things more clearly. Yeah. I feel like for some of you, they were trying to stay away from you to try to keep the peace, honestly, or to please somebody else by staying away from you. Yeah, but they're sad over not being with you. Um, Tell me more about 
toxicity. They have a toxic family. Battle of the Wits. Yeah, I'll tell you about the... And we have Breakthrough. So I feel like both of you guys have kind of... The situation's been at a stalemate. But we have Breakthrough here. They are planning right now to come towards you to ask for a second chance. Expect communication real soon. This person has a lot of feelings and emotions for you. These self-esteem issues and lack of confidence and all these things that this person was dealing with stems from their childhood. Their unhealed childhood wounds prevent them from forming meaningful and long-lasting relationships. Yeah, look at this, unsighted. You're showing this person how toxic they are and how toxic these people are around them. They are unable to see the complete extent of the toxicity they brought into the connection because it's all that they know, but they're awakening to it now. And it's leading to some type of ending. And then once that ending occurs, they're going to shoot their shot, okay?